All right, guys, here we go. We got in the top left, Foxer. And in the bottom right, Trap. Right, so Trap out of the military. Of course, he had a pretty good run last week. Uh, definitely heavily favored here. Foxer is a strong GM from NA, but you can't really honestly expect him to take out Trap, even though Trap is not back to full form as of yet. Trap already looking pretty darn good. He did take down Beyond last week, if I'm recalling correctly. It was 2-1. And the winner of this does actually play against Beyond. So, really nice match coming up next as well. So, yeah, I mean, early game. TVP. We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes down. SCV kind of going on a funny, funny side quest over here. I think he's going to proxy something. <laughs> ah, we have a fan in the chat, Xerac. Go and look. <laughs> All right. So, you know, the ID Foxer, one of Marine King's many, many failings as a pro gamer. He said that the community could vote on a name for him, and they voted Foxer, which is a great idea, because he originally played in GSL's Boxer. But Boxer was playing at the same time. It didn't make sense. So they voted Foxer, and then he didn't do it. And he changed his name to Marine King, as if that's a good fucking ID. It's not, by the way. You might have good memories about it, right? You can eventually associate even a bad ID with happiness, but it's, it's a bad fucking ID compared to Foxer. <laughs> yes, this is StarCraft 2 against StarCraft 2. That is correct, yes. And of course, Byun was known as Ghost King Prime at one point. Kind of funny. His original ID was actually Bleach. So, a little bit of harassment going on. You know, there is that proxy factory, so we'll see. Cyclone on the way... Yeah, I don't know what the proxy cyclone stuff is going to end up doing. Maybe something, though. Maybe. Maybe this just surprises Trap a bit. It's a possibility. Dude, five health. Oh, man. All right, the Marine is going to chase this away. All right, more Cyclones are being made. Stargate coming up here for Trap. So how many Cyclones is he waiting for? Is he going to go with two? Is he going to go with three? I think when you see the Adepts, you probably go, is my guess. Okay, he sees the Adepts. Three Marines not going to do anything against these. Yeah, really, really wrecking him. But he's actually waiting for another Cyclone here. And another Cyclone gets started. Let's see. Let's see. Does he go? Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If he had if he had fucking targeted that, how sick would that have been? How sick would that have been? Oh, I'm so sad for him right now. All right. Uh, he knows that it's some sort of crazy proxy, so starts a Void Ray up right away. Chrono boosting that as well. Two Adepts here with that battery. Like, you know, Foxer's still going to get a little bit done. If only he had caught that Oracle, though. He'd be feeling really, really good. Oh, man. The Adept is still over there. Oh, crap. Uh, definitely Foxer in kind of a tough spot, but let's see what he gets done. Like, there's actual real possibilities here when you think about it. Like, I think the Void Ray is going to kind of ruin things for him. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, the Void Ray coming up. He's going to want to try to surround these. and Well, he... Mm. Dude, imagine if that didn't exist. Seriously? Foxer might beat Trap if if that if he had caught the Oracle when he walked by it. Like if they had been on attack move instead of move, we'd be in a different universe right now. A different universe. Where Foxer is maybe making the sickest upset over Trap. Reasonable. Right? Reasonable. He is down on workers a bit, which sucks, but still reasonable.
So he's going to chase that factory out. Might even end up killing it here, realistically. I don't think there's any way to save that, really, if he just decides to keep that on there. All right, little uh, triple adept shade up in the main base. Oof, is he gonna, yeah, he lets that finish as well. So he's gonna just be picking off a few probes. Luckily, one of them gets stuck, so the adepts aren't gonna be quite as cost efficient now. Marine's kind of catching them out. And the factory will end up falling. Luckily, he already has that starport coming, so maybe not the end of the world. But obviously, you're missing out on factory units in case you wanted tanks or mines or something like that. Okay, so the Void Ray, yeah, I don't know. It's just doing like a little bit of scouting or whatever. This is a lot of Marines coming up. The defensive formation of Trap is enough, though. I, I can't imagine him dying to this. If he could set off the Stasis Ward, that'd be pretty good. I don't know if he'll be able to. Okay, he scans and sees it. So you could actually just attack it down. Dude, but double shield battery and everything, like... He targets one shield battery. Thing is, like, it doesn't matter. It's guardian shield and shield batteries. So every Marine going to fall. Foxer's pretty dead from there. Losing all of those, that is not something you're going to come back from. Yeah, he lost a single sentry during that battle. Just not a good engage, unfortunately. He needed medevacs in there. If he had two medevacs, the whole game might look a bit different, but he had no sustainability with his army, unfortunately. So now he's just like... Trap might just win right here. Like, Trap's going to win for sure at this point, I would say. Oh, man, he actually messes that up. <laughs> he should have had that bunker for sure. One more volley would have gotten it. Void Ray going up to the main. Yeah, well. That was never going to happen. Temporary Archives uh, finishing up. Getting that quick storm as Trap has always liked. All right, now... Fox are leaving his base, right? He's actually pretty similar in army supply, but generally this is where Terran starts to pull ahead in army supply a little bit. I don't think that's really going to happen. I think Trap is going to be able to maintain his uh, army supply at least parity or probably slight advantage, which just shows that Foxer is well behind, right? Like it, it wouldn't be weird if right now it was 70 supply to 50 supply, something like that in Foxer's favor. And that's just not the case. So, you know, Trap taking this fourth base should be feeling very, very safe about it. Doesn't seem like there's a lot here for his opponent to do. Oh, man. <laughs> Keeps getting worse, unfortunately. Blinks up. Oh, the good storm. Very, very good storm. And like three of those marauders back in the middle of nowhere as well. Whoa, that micro. Uh, gonna go ahead and take out that mine. Yeah, I just let that one hit. Who cares? He's, he's like very close to a victory. There's just not enough units here for a uh, Foxer. He lost way too much bio with his attack that killed one sentry. The flank of the three Marauders, nice. But again, not gonna be enough. Guardian Shield's doing really, really well. Oracle comes up to fight as well. And Trap may just barely, barely, barely break through everything. I thought he might get slightly held there and have to go home and make more. But I think, you know, the amount of damage he's putting out, there's really nothing left for Foxer. So I think Foxer probably will GG. It was actually a good build from Foxer. He actually had some opportunities early on there.
SJT2500 just resubscribed for 10 months 3. Thank you. Appreciate it. <sighs> we get into game two here momentarily and then we'll go into uh, Beyond vs. Trap. As the cum leaked out of Luigi's anus, Mario. Dude, no, no, no. <laughs> you know what to do, Hexeract. As the redacted leaked out of Luigi's re redacted. Okay. Udos just resubscribed for 10 months. Thank you, Udos. He skipped all my redacted, so why bother Artie? Mm. All right, let's go. Game number two, starting up. Protoss. Those overpowered, spineless fucks. Yeah, they think they're so smart with their psionic bullshit and photon cannons. Well, let me tell you something. You bald, blue-skinned freaks, you ain't got shit on us, Terrans. <laughs> They probably think they invented air conditioning, too. You bunch of hairless apes. The only reason you've been doing well lately is because Blizzard decided to hand you a giant dildo and call it Arbiter Recall. <laughs> All right, we have Foxer in the top right of Alcyon. And in the bottom left, we have Trap. Well, 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 well. Uh, you know, I hope Foxer has another good cheese because that one really was pretty reasonable. Again, if he had caught that uh, Oracle, that could have gone into his favor. There is a possibility. The three, uh, the three Cyclones were pretty strong, and Trap really didn't know what was happening. I don't think you can do the same thing again. So anyways, uh, looks like pretty standard openers thus far. We'll see if anything pops out into the side of the map somewhere funny. But uh, while we uh, kind of wait for this to get going, guys, I would like to uh, ask you follow the channel. Cast this uh, every single week. And yeah, a lot of other great stuff going on. So uh, definitely worth a follow. A little bit of uh, probe harassment there. Can't really get too much done. Oh, he doesn't pop it up. He doesn't do the pro gamer thing and pop the deep up and make the probe go around. Anyways, the harassment will continue lightly. The probe should pull out as he knows that the Reaper is not far away now. Chasing it with that SCV, making sure the probe can't turn around and go hide somewhere. And, in fact, that probe will now die for what it's done. All right, so down goes the uh, probe. Great idea there. And... Well, okay, so this is the build that Foxer decided to go for, right? This is what we were talking about at the beginning of the game, where it's like, I hope that he has another good cheese or something like that. Uh, but he's actually just going very, very, very fast third command center. So a third command center like this, he is adding a second racks, which you do need to do. Now, is he going to go three racks like we see like from Gyun sometimes and go super bio heavy? Is he going to try to tech up with this? I'm really unsure. 
I hope I hope he just whatever he does, I hope he fully commits. Because you can't have half measures here against trap. So he does throw it on two racks. So it's gonna be like more bio heavy, which is a fine way to try to defend a quick third command center in a build like this. I'm not a huge fan of any three racks play. I feel like it doesn't give you actually a lot of options or decision making. And in fact, he's gonna lose his Marines here. Very unfortunately. His mule. Oh man. Everything going wrong for Foxer here. Yeah, the Adept's being really annoying here. The Marauder will be helpful to kind of outrange him a little bit there. Oh, man. <laughs> Is he going to lose that SCV as well? Nah. Does does hide it away, so that's good at least. Hopefully he can push this back pretty quickly. He does have three command centers, so he can refill his probe count pretty quickly. But the fact that he's down eight workers when he's gone for triple command is sad for his position here, right? Trap definitely getting pretty darn far ahead. He's getting a prison. He's getting blink. I think he's going to come across and try to kill him. I think there's a reasonable chance that he does as well. That is a terribly ugly Sim City. Holy crap. <laughs> that is very funny looking. Prism going across the map. All right, blinks forward here. Oh man, really bad for Foxer at the moment. Uh, he's gonna end up, I think he's just gonna lose the game here, honestly. Like the micro trap is dealing so much damage as you can see. He's now down 11 workers with a three CC build. Which, you know, in a way you can look at that in a positive light and say, okay, well he can rebuild his workers. Like he'll actually, he'll be able to bridge that gap, which wouldn't be bridgeable on two command center, but like, he's also going to be losing a lot of units here as well. Okay, there comes a stem. There's no there's no medevac on the way, though. So it's, like, really tough spot. Trap coming forward with that prism. All right, looks like he's getting ready to maybe blink into this main base. SCV is getting pulled, getting ready. Now, if he rotates over and hits the natural, like this is gonna get real bad real quick. Right, everything's kind of out of position. He can two shot that if he blinks forward. Doesn't actually do it, just walks up. Yeah, doesn't quite get that two shot. Oof. Some good micro from Trap. He's just keeping a lot of pressure on. Third base is almost done. Colossi coming out. Range as well as charge. All right, a little blink up. Just some light harassment for stalkers to one shot these SCVs. Right, picks them up, gonna run out of there. Really bad situation. Boxer trying to hold on. You know, you can see he's, he's, you know, his build order is as such that he is like, uh, well, he's producing a lot of stuff right now. We'll give him that. Hmm. Trap with his Colossi coming out is what is scaring me maybe more than anything else here. Not just the 16 probe advantage or, you know, the 13 army supply advantage, but the fact that he's going to have Splash as his fourth Nexus like halfway done. 
Foxer unable to expand right now. Just a little bit of a mismatch between the two. You know, Foxer is a strong player, but, uh, you know, you're playing against one of the greatest Protoss of all time, so it's a tough one to say the least. Hmm. Well, loading up the medevacs, this is like, he needs to make this work, but I don't know if there's like a way to make it work. What happened? Thank you. All right, sorry guys. I had to talk to the wife. I thought my coffee machine was broken. She fixed it though. All right. Uh, trap coming in for the killing blow. And well, that's gonna be it. GG, two to zero in trap's favor. No big surprise there.